Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts video. Today we are going to be talking about the now anticipated Kingdom Hearts 4. Honestly, I'm so excited this game has been revealed. It has been crazy to think that uh, we, we're already living in a timeline where this game is possible. It feels like Kingdom Hearts 3 just came out like last year and it's already been three years so it's just so crazy of a time that we live in that Kingdom Hearts 4 has already been announced and that we're now waiting it is absolutely incredible the kind of stuff that has been coming out about this game the news is just pouring down on us today and the first thing i would like to to talk about is sora possibly coming back to the quote unquote real world in a famitsu article namora was asked donald and goofy in the normal kingdom hearts world right what will sora look like if he also returned to his own world and namora responded Donald and Goofy are looking for clues to Sora's whereabouts in the normal world. The world you see in the Cage 4 trailer, until the reveal, all takes place in Quadratum. And as such, Sora also looks more realistic due to him being in that world. However, if he were to return to his own world, his appearance would look similar to the shader used for Donald and Goofy. So, it is almost a hint that at some point in this game, or at least a tease, that it it wouldn't be unrealistic for Sora to go back to his own world. And that if he were, whether it's in the beginning after a tutorial section, like in the past with Destiny Islands, Twilight Town, the Realm of Darkness, and Cage 3, it would either be a tutorial world, or it would be at the end of the game. But either way, there is a very good chance that we'll see Sora again in the real world at the end of this game, for sure. You know, I couldn't see them dragging this out too long. But that's not to say that Quad Quadratum would even be over. Who knows this this where this new era of Kingdom Hearts could take us. Honestly, it's super exciting. We also have confirmation that Shibuya is part of Quadratum. And that it is not canon to The World Ends With You, as is shown on the screen right now. And that the uh, apartment that Sora wakes up in in Shibuya is actually in fact in an area called South Ayo Ayoama? I, I, I probably butchered that, but you know, that's fine. And apparently this area is a very nice area in, in Japan and Shibuya is just upper class uh, to the max. But also it serves as a home base for Sora in the first part of the game apparently. Uh, and that it'll be something that you'll return to multiple times and that apparently the apartment kind of becomes more fuller by the end of the game for sure. Also another interesting tidbit is that we now have confirmation that uh, we're going to be getting reaction commands back which is just super cool because in Cage 2 it was just so much fun to just uh, be able to adapt to whatever situation you were in. Just swing around a water based enemy or uh, freaking slap uh, a mannequin against Xemnas' face. Like It was just so much fun to be able to just to go with the flow. It was it was a lot of fun, and I'm really glad that they're bringing those back. It was so much fun. The last question that Famitsu asked that I thought was really interesting, and they, they ask, in the trailer's narration, there's a line that says, even though the people here are very much alive, this place is very much like an afterlife for us. What exactly does that mean? Nomura answered, the perspective changes depending on who has viewed it. In Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, the Master of Masters said something similar. From Sora's perspective, Quadratum is a world that exists in the background, a fictional world that is different from his reality. However, for the people living in Quadratum, the world that Sora and the others live in, and that exists in their background, is a fictional world for them. In Cage 4, we will explore the theme of the contrast between the two perspectives. Honestly, I think that is such a cool idea, being able to see two different worlds interact with each other and kind of point at the other one as being the fake world uh even though we the audience have bias it'll be really cool to see the perspective of the other side especially if you bring in yuzora and uh other noctis ideas it'd be it'd be really interesting to see how this all plays out honestly that's all i wanted to talk about thank you so much for watching if you've gotten this far please leave a like subscribe and share the video